Peyton in the house, everybody. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! <laughs> Hallelujah! And today we're gonna talk about relationships because we know that a lot of people out there need tips and tricks and the trades. So who better to teach you than us two? First of all, the best thing about relationships, obviously, the free things, the free rides. Oh yeah. The free food, free dinners, free oh, presents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Free entry things. Exactly. Seriously, what you need to do, fucking get the goods and bounce. Run your ass out of there. Yeah, because yeah, the first couple of days in a relationship, the guy tends to buy you lots of things and take you out. So take advantage of that and just ditch and go <laughs> on to the next guy. That's why, seriously, it's better to have like three or four guys going. Uh, six or seven, honey. Yeah, one of each day of the week. Yeah, or maybe two, three in a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Because your parents ain't going to pay for all that shit. Of course, and you want to get pregnant as soon as possible. You want to get that child support real fast. The guy's just trying to act really nice just to get you, and then when he has you, he can't wait to throw you in the garbage. Yeah, that's why I just take the shit all they have. Just take it all. Okay, so I have something to tell you guys, the boys out there. Um, I know getting money can be really tough nowadays, so for all the straight guys out there who are getting broke, I suggest you to leave the town, turn gay, and then go hook up with an older man. Because they have lots of money. Lots of money. And I have two words for you guys. Personal sacrifice. You gotta do what you gotta do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Get some money, come back, and you're a baller. Yeah, seriously, the sex trade's pretty good, actually. Yeah, really. Okay, I get lots of questions of people asking me, how do I ask a guy out without it being awkward? Well, I think it's good to ask a guy out only if he's not asking you out. Seriously, the best way to get a guy to ask you out works like a charm. So what you want to do, you see this guy you like, you follow him home. Second step is you peek through the windows and you finally find the window that you get to see him in his room. And then when his parents are not there and he's gone out of his house, just climb into the window. Oh, it kind of reminds me of that song. He's climbing in your window. Try to set your people up so you better. <laughs> Hide your wife. Hide your husband. Hide your kids. Hide your dogs. Hide your sex. Hide your dildos. Hide your princess jewels. <laughs> Good idea. Hang on. I'll find the pair that I took. Oh my god. Yeah, what are you see. looking for? You want to grab a pair of his underwear and you just want to sniff it. <laughs> sniff that shit. <laughs> My hair looks really weird. I need like Botox. <laughs> I want to get Botox too. I need like double eyelid surgery. I want my lips to be big like this. Really? I want to like take all this out and just put it up here. Honey, I just got my nose done. Like Would I look good like this? Maybe no. I kind of want like cheek implants. Mm -hmm. Fierce, get out of the camera. Fierceness, bitches. Okay, now let's put it all together. Okay. So, Julia. What's up? I have a question. I have an answer. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck me. Okay, Julian. Okay, Peyton, I have something to tell you guys. The Make guys. Make the ugliest face you can right now. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny sound. <laughs> okay. Riff, if riff, your riff. hand is bigger than your face, do it. Yeah. No, do it. <laughs> I was trying to do that to you. <laughs> Bitch. So, Julian just went to the washroom, guys. And hang on. I'm gonna go through his drawers. What the fuck? I just found this in Julian's room. Can you guys see that? <laughs> it's Julian's thong. Like, what the hell? Oh, he's gonna. Eat. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Look at that. Put that down, Hayden. Oh, look at that, guy. Look. Wow. What were you doing? Is this wow. recording? Wow. That's embarrassing. 